All right, I did some adjustments on my cam here. I forgot to put the, um, I use a little um, string to hold it to the back of my hat and then it also keeps it straight so it doesn't wiggle around and turn. I hope that the last bit didn't come out too bad here. Caught me cockeyed here. But anyways, To improve. I, the problem is, is that um, the threads to the camera are in uh, metric and no, actually the threads are not in metric they're in uh, inches and then the, the, all the, the bolts I have are only I can only get them here in metric so they don't line up that tight they don't go in deep as my um, my American uh, tripod I have so that's another factor. I have to use. Uh, I can't get a. I need the best setup would be a, um, a wing bolt, a bolt with a wing nut type of thing, so I can screw it tight, and then it would go deeper into the camera threads. This only goes in about uh, just a tiny little bit, like an eighth of an inch, or just a little more. So I have to be careful. I don't lose the camera, but I have a safety string on it. I don't use. Uh, I could catch amazing amount of fish if I use worms here but I don't, um, I don't like to use worms that much because um, that, there's a little perch following it there. The fish tend to, um, oh yeah, there it goes. Nice little perch. The, fur, the fish tend to swallow it so um, the hook right down in their gullet or right in their stomach so it's, uh, I don't, and I'm not planning on eating any of these fish tonight so there's a beautiful yellow perch. I don't know why they don't call them red fins. They have the most beautiful red fins. Look at that. Anyhow, they're a good fish in there. They're active all year round. These are the, one of the most common fish to get during, when you go ice fishing here. But they're the most beautiful fish. They're predatory fish. They eat other fish and insects and stuff. Nice little perch. Let them go here. They usually run in school, so once you find, once you start catching them, they usually um, continue on. Area here. Of course, I got Ben sitting here. Generally, when I fish an area, I fish in like a fan shaped. Thing. And then when I, if I catch a fish in this area, then I'll fish on this area for a while and then I go back. And I usually can stay in an area for, oh, there's another one. Oh, had a bite. Just let it go. The thing about these jigs is they, when you first get a nibble, you can just drop it and let the fish, let it sink to the bottom and then the fish, and then move it up. And the fish usually think that they wounded it. As, a, as I think of it as a small minnow, for example, and they wounded it and they'll come back after it. I usually get them on the drop. This is a collapsible rod, but on the very tip of it, um, it's got a very flexible, solid fiberglass tip, which is very sensitive, so it's good to set the hook and you feel the nibbles.